Hi, my name is Gary Glass. I'm the director of the American Home Brewers Association. I'm teaching you how to make beer at home. In this segment, we will cover the basic ingredients that are used by home brewers to make beer. Starting out, we have malt. Malt can be made from a variety of different grains, including wheat, rye, and oats, but it's primarily made from barley. And there's two main forms of malted barley that you can use. We've got our base grains, which are light, and those need to go through a mashing process. Uh, and then we have specialty grains that the maltsters have treated in different ways, either by, by roasting them at a different level or producing more sugars in the, in the malt. Those different specialty grains are what create different colors within the beer. Uh, malt in general produces, uh, provides uh, sugars, which add sweetness to the beer, as well as body, um, so it adds to the mouthfeel of the beer. Uh, for home brewers, uh, we can skip the whole mashing process in which the starches and the grains are converted to sugars uh, by using extracts. And I've got a couple of examples of extracts here. Extracts come in two different forms for home brewers. You can either buy dried extracts or you can use a liquid extract, which comes as a syrup. Those extracts allow you to skip that whole mashing process, so it's very easy to, to do. Beer, of course, contains hops. Hops are a flower that are used as an herb in the brewing process. They provide uh, bitterness, which balances the sweetness from the malt, as well as aromas and, and flavors uh, that can range from herbal to floral to fruity to spicy. And for home brewers, you can get hops in two different forms, either whole hops or you can use pelletized hops that look much like rabbit food. You also need yeast. Yeast is a single-celled organism that consumes sugars and produces alcohol and carbon dioxide. There are two main classes of yeast that are used in, in brewing. Uh, there's ale yeasts, which are fermented warm at room temperature, uh, and those produce uh, the fruity esters that are uh, characteristic of ale styles. There's also lager yeast, which is fermented cold or down around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, and Lager yeast produce a clean, crisp uh, lager character. For home brewers, there are two main packages for yeast. You can get yeast in either liquid form or dried form. Uh, the liquid form comes in, in uh, either a foil package or a vial. With the liquid yeast, you can brew all kinds of different styles. It's a little more expensive than the, than the dried yeast. Um, dried yeast uh, doesn't have as many varieties as the, the liquid yeast does and it also has to go through a rehydration process. Of course with beer the main ingredient is going to be water. You can use any, any kind of water as long as it's clean tasting so if your tap water tastes good to you you can use that um, though if the, if the water has a lot of chlorination in it uh, then you probably want to use a filtered or a bottled water for your brewing. Well that covers the basic ingredients Next, we'll talk about the equipment that you will need to brew beer.